is the US 400 meter champion. He's as powerful and graceful as a cheetah. When Dan competes in Atlanta this summer, he'll be photographed with spoogy film. But Dan uses it too, mainly in the bedroom taking pictures of his girlfriend when they're doing it. Because only spoogy, very gold film can capture the flaring roundness of his girlfriend's breasts, the tight knots of muscles in their straining buttocks, or her pounding excitement as he plows her like an animal screaming, Take it, take it, you nasty little vixen in heat! So always look for spoogy film, the official film of the Summer Games, and Bob Choney. Tonight on Hercules Legendary Adventures, Hercules must slay the griffins of Hellfire and get a physical. I do not need a physical. I am Hercules. I have the body of a god. Yeah, but I have the forms of an insurance company, so put on this papyrus gown, please. I like this knot. My gluteus is poking up the back. It does that with everyone. Okay. Now bend over. Very well. But I am hard through the grapevine. Let's Hercules tonight. Now I'd like you to fill this jar. From here? Very well. Whoa. Right after Sinbad lances a boil. Tune in tonight for a special episode of Star Trek Voyager. Report, Mr. Tuvac. Captain, we are entering a subspace gravimetric optometric hypercaron gravity well, which is throwing bio-neutrino photon energy pulses at us. Prepare the isodine linear plasma trans scanner and a secondary hypertransducer to counteract the Doppler phase shift. That would be ineffective, Captain. We need a multi-frequency submodulating tetraton generator in partial conjunction with the integrated trilithium M-wave accelerator. In that case, we'll have to prepare a thermoplastic bimolecular hypotron sweep to counteract any breakdown in the m -quintarium. Or I could just press this button. That's tonight on Star Trek Voyager, only on UPN, the Ultramolecular Postrino Micron Network. If you want the great taste of sugar in your coffee, try Sleekwool. It tastes just like the real thing, but without those 16 calories found in a teaspoon of sugar. All right, so 16 calories isn't much, unless you're one of those morons who dumps a whole silo of sugar in your coffee. Heck, I'd be fat and wired, too, if I put the equivalent of a chocolate cake in there. Oh, and Sleekwell is made from aspartame. We don't exactly know what that is, but it gave a huge mushy hump to only 2% of the rats we force-fed it to. But hey, who cares about permanent disfigurement when you can avoid those 16 freaking little calories, huh? So try Sleekwell, the sugar substitute for anal people like you. If you suffer from stomach ulcers, there's a new medicine that can help. New Xanthosol can stop the pain of stomach ulcers when they flare up without a prescription. But before you take Xanthosol, consult your doctor because Xanthosol isn't for everyone. Tests show it can cause occasional nausea and headaches in some subjects. Some may experience slight liver damage or colon expansion. Others may grow a third nipple or a third arm or malignant brain tumors. And in extreme cases, fire may shoot out of their backside, followed by their head exploding. But hey, what's a little medical Russian roulette if you don't have to worry about those nasty stomach ulcers? Santhesol, taking chances for your life. Tonight on Hercules, the legendary adventures, Hercules annihilates the army of Diplodocus and buys an off-road vehicle. Hail, vehicle salesperson. I wish to get a Hummer. Excuse me? I want you to give me a great big Hummer. I want a Hummer that will keep me satisfied. I have been told to see you for the best Hummer in town. Hey, uh, I don't know what you heard, pal. I but, have heard uh... that prices are high, but that you will go down. And behold, I have 60,000 cash for you. So do not just stand there. Give me a Hummer. That's tonight on Hercules. 60,000? I get off at 7. Meet me up back then. Huh? Right after Xena test drives a pro. Do you want to take your life in an exciting new direction and make a lot of money? Hi, I'm Dan Goodman, and I'm going to tell you how you can get rich selling a product for 10 times the amount that you pay for it right out of your home. What is this amazing product? It's crack. That's right, crack. Once you start selling crack, you'll be making thousands of dollars a day because crack's always in demand. I can't imagine why anyone without morals wouldn't want to invest in this amazing product. Crack, ah! Of course, there are some drawbacks. Sell crack out of your home. Call today for this manual bro- ah! Ah! This message brought to you by Rogers Mortuary. We're really getting rich off this stuff. Ah! 
Hello again, everybody. It's Dr. Pink, the rock and roll shrink. Time to put your favorite music on the couch and seek a deeper meaning. Today's song is Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. Poor Mr. Jagger. He sees all of life's multicolored wonders and he wants it all painted black. Why are you so depressed, Mick? Have you discovered you can't get no satisfaction from your hedonistic lifestyle? Well, I've got news for you, bucko. You're a fool to cry. There's more to life than the pursuit of honky-tonk women. Let go of this beast of burden and say something constructive with those giant lips of yours, like, let's spend some quality time together. Only that will be your emotional rescue. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, this is Dr. Fink, the rock and roll shrink, reminding you that emotional stability has a good beat, and you can dance to it. Don't believe what they say. Crime is growing every day. Assaults, murders, they're all on the rise. What can you do? You can start by getting a really big gun. Not one of those wimpy 38s. I mean a great big dirty hairy cannon. Then pick up some hunting rifles and then some AK-47s and then string electric fences around your house. Load up your sidewalk with landmines and fire up the radar guided SAM missiles on your roof. Then stick anti-guns out the windows and send in your F-16s with napalm. That'll show those punks. <laughs> this message was brought to you by... No one gives me away, man! No one! <laughs>
Subtotal, because nutrition shouldn't be too much to stomach. <laughs> this portion of today's show is brought to you by Amnesiacs. The people who, uh, um, who, let's see, just give me a second, I'll get it. Uh... Hi, today's letter is from Nora in Norfolk who writes, Dear Martha, I'd love to take a cruise. Any suggestions? Yes, Nora. I recommend you book passage on the Queen Martha. Not only because of its tasteful luxury, but because I just don't have enough of your money. The Queen Martha crew will seat your every need, because if they don't, I'll have my hatchet men toss them into the sea, which is not only a sparkling cerulean blue, but infested with man-eating sharks. Ten seconds overboard and that forgetful waiter is reduced to chum. But what am I thinking? You live in Norfolk. You couldn't possibly afford the Queen Martha. A booze cruise around the harbor is more up your street. Mmm, I can already smell the diesel and dead fish. Thanks for writing, Nora. Ahoy, mateys! I'm Martha. Bye bye Like most boys in South Park, little Stan has a problem when it comes to girls. Hi, Stan! <laughs> Ew! You can't talk to Stan, Wendy. He throws up when you do. But why, Stan? <laughs> because Stan hasn't read How to Talk to Women by South Park's number one beefcake stud, Eric Cartman. Cartman's book teaches you how to be as witty and sophisticated as he is with pickup lines like, Hey, you get your bitch ass back in the kitchen and make me some pie. As well as, Hey, women, you e e shut your mouth and make babies. And before long, women will swoon before you, leaving you able to say with confidence, Hey, I didn't throw up. Cool. Get Eric Cartman's How to Talk to Women, the romance guide that's absolutely kickers. I am an extremely religious person, but I still worry about being possessed by the devil. What should I do? Have no fear! You need the new home exorcism package, available only at Panhandle Fats. First, we'll bolt the Panhandle Fats neck brace onto your head so it'll never swivel 360 degrees again. Ow! Good. I hate when that happens. But what if I have the urge to spew green soup? <laughs> then, whenever you have the urge to blow green chunks, green chunks not included, we'll have Father Panhandle Fats himself reach down your throat <laughs> and pull the devil out by the horns. <laughs> Darn it. I almost had him that time. I will never be tempted again. Possession is too painful. Thank you, Panhandle Fats. So, when you feel threatened by Satan, or if you just look like Linda Blair, say a prayer for the home exorcism package, only at Panhandle Fats. Life is pretty good sometimes, isn't it? That is, unless you're a child who may not have much more time. That's why there's the Make a Dream Foundation. We help sick children realize their dreams, but it takes money. So please, give generously. Because if you don't, you're a sick bastard. I mean, what kind of unfeeling monster are you? Worrying about the payments on your precious Jaguar while little Louisa here can't afford to go to Funland, her last wish, before she... Oh, I hope you enjoy roasting in hell, you heartless ogre! Give to the Make a Dream Foundation. Guilt-tripping your support since 1983. All right, that's enough. Uh.